That whole business about wind is a joke and uh, wouldn't work without government subsidies actually was, was past tense, probably true when I started. Um, you know, I'll just be candid. Um, we got in it out of a sense of environmental sense, yes, but also because we wanted to make money and without the government subsidies, I don't think we would have done it. Um, but that subsidy drove technology. It caused people to build these machines. It caused people to put these machines out. And when you put a machine out, I mean, I'm a mechanical engineer. If you put a machine out of a certain size and type and you run it, the engineers always do this. They say, wow, you know, if we only did this, if we only did that, we lengthen the blades, we put a different generator in, we make the tower higher, we make the tower lighter. And so this subsidy drove that. It drove technology. Uh, fundamentally and philosophically, I don't like government subsidies. I wish they would all go away. I'm a free market guy. But here's the problem. They exist all over the place. There is no level playing field. So yeah, wind came in and got a subsidy. My background, as I've said, is in oil and gas. Natural gas has subsidies. Oil drilling has subsidies. <laughs> Coal has subsidies. Nuclear has subsidies. Wind in about two years will be the only energy generation form that I'm aware of that will have no direct subsidy. And I am convinced now in the 10 or 12 years I've been doing this that it went from, yes, needed to be subsidized, was kind of a marginal thing, to being pretty much disruptive. If we can get over the political issues, um, wind, is probably going to be the cheapest new electrical generation uh, of anything for the foreseeable future.